What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of my race to Overpowered 8. Now, as I said before, I'm going to try something a little different. Um, I mentioned in the last commentary that I was going to try doing a different way of doing the commentaries. And I am doing this live, but I'm going to focus less on what's going on on the screen and try and focus on, you know, telling you guys a story or something. Um, not necessarily a story, but I'm going to try and focus on telling you guys... Maybe a little more about me. What? The oh, God, I hate these guys. Anyways, so... He's got a Goliath mask. Kind of funny. But... I thought I'd tell you guys a little more about who I am. Why I'm doing YouTube. Because I know I've talked about it before. But I'm going to talk to you guys about why I'm doing it. And maybe you guys will get a better understanding of what's really going on in the world that is... Me. Um, yeah, that was stupid. But, uh... So first things first, as you guys may or may not know, I'm 31 years old, I live in California, I live in sunny San Diego, which sometimes I really wish it wasn't so sunny, because it does suck living in California when, it probably sucks worse if you live out in the East Coast during the summer, and I got nothing but respect for people who live out on the East Coast, my dad is from Kentucky, uh, got him. Trying to find things to shoot. And, uh, my mom's from Texas, so... For me, California is just... It's got nice weather most of the year, but during the, like, September... It's just... I would rather live anywhere but here. Like, anywhere but here. Because it just gets really hot in certain areas. Again, not as bad as it does elsewhere, so I'm not gonna sit here and say, Oh my god, it's so bad. It just gets, it gets really, really hot, and I don't, I can't afford to always run air conditioning as much as I'd love to, so, it sucks, but it is what it is, and in any event, I've lived here my entire life, uh, I was actually born in LA, have family out in LA, I go and visit my aunt, it's a little more often than I used to, I mean, uh, I don't have the world's greatest relationship with my extended family. You know, like I, I know members of my dad's side of the family, but I don't really have like any tight knit connection to any of them. The only person I had any real connection with on my dad's side of the family was my grandmother, and she passed away several years ago. Speaking of people who passed away, as I've probably mentioned it before on my channel, uh, back in 2008, my mom passed away. And my mom was a very intricate part of my, my life, my day-to-day -day life, so it sucks. Um, there are days where I find myself wanting to go and just talk to her about stuff. Like, honestly, God, truth, you guys, I, I'm going to sit here and say this. I thought I had the coolest mom in the world, man. That, that woman put up with so much crap that me and my brothers put her through. I, I'm, we make the joke that my dad has gray hair because of us, but I know for a fact my mom had gray hair because of us. So, but I miss her every day. So for any of you out there that are, you know, recently going through something like this, know that it does get easier, but that pain never goes away. And I'm speaking from legitimate experience when I say this to you guys. It, j it sucks. It is a very shitty experience it's a shitty feeling I was I wanted to see something because I didn't hear it go off a second ago and it sucks but it, it doesn't have to be the end of the world you know things do get better as much as people will say that and I've heard people say that to me when my mom passed like things will get better man you'll be good everything will get better you know blah 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 and I'm like fuck you dude how do you know things are gonna get better you know and some people had, you know, legitimate experience to go off of, but there are some people I know that did not know crap about it. Like, they'd never experienced the loss of, you know, a significant family member before. They'd lost family, but they'd never lost somebody that was like, holy crap, like, what do I do now? That's, that's, that's exactly how I felt for about five or so minutes, because when my mom passed... I immediately kind of got sucked into the responsibility of taking care of my little brother. Now, I haven't talked about my little brother before, at least any real length, so I'm going to do that now. But understand that 
I do take my family and I, anything having to do with my family very serious. So if you want to make jokes, you want to troll me, go right the fuck ahead. Fuck with me all you want. Will not bother me. Don't go after my family. It, It's just, you know, don't do it. Because you're not going to piss me off. That's the thing. You won't piss me off. You'll do something much worse than piss me off. God damn it. So, yeah. I mean, I'm very protective of my little brother. What the fuck was that? Oh, he's got an arc. This motherfucker's got a... No oh, it's not a Northly. He's got one of them, like, alien rocket launchers. I was like, what the fuck? I just got shot with a Norfleet. Anyways. I just earned a new player skin? How... How is that possible? I don't know. Anyways. As I was saying... Um... My brother's autistic. He suffers from it. He's had it his entire life. It's not something he developed. He's always been this way. And he's not as bad as some forms of... His, his form of autism isn't as bad as it is for some people. Some people have it really bad where they can't even function at all in society. It's that, like, it's that bad for them. My brother is... He, he can't necessarily function. Like, he can function. He just doesn't have the social skills. Like, his ability to socially interact isn't as great as it would be for someone else. On top of that, the way he processes information is that of someone, you know, he's like a little kid. You know, it's not a bad thing. Actually, it's kind of nice. As weird as this sounds, as stupid as this may sound to some of you, it, it's nice because in a weird way, it preps my, it preps my brother, essentially. Oh, fuck. I just saw a bunch of red dots, and I'm like, oh, God, I'm, I'm about to die. Yep, I'm about to die. Okay, so, um, we'll finish this statement in just a moment. Fuck, yep, I'm dead. Uh, let me focus on this for just a minute, you guys. Now, the last time, this is, what, my first run through here? So, I think I have to fight this bitch twice. And I'm not talking about two of them, I mean, two of... You know what? Come on, bitches. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Wow! Nice! All right, so, <coughs> shit, I hope to God I'm not getting sick again. I will be so pissed. It's like I was saying, though, um, his disability sucks, but it, in a weird twist of, in a weird twisted way, it's actually kind of nice because it's like having a kid around all the time. And I love kids. Not No, I'm not. No fucking pedophile. None of that crazy crap. I just, I love kids, man. You know what I mean? As I've gotten older, their innocence is nice to see, you know? And that's my brother for you. He's a perfect example. It's like, the shit that's going on in the world doesn't phase him. He's like, huh? Government shut down? What does that mean? I don't give a fuck. When's Call of Duty come out? You know? And it's just like, it's fucking awesome. I mean, I if you snickered at that, it's... First of all, he didn't actually say that. I did. But... <laughs> But it, it's the same thing, though. My brother is really innocent, and it's it's cool. It's like, I've got, you guys know I have my two nieces, and now I've got my nephew. And it's just kind of cool, because I already go and I get stuff like toys and stuff like that, because my brother still plays with Legos. You know, I'm not going to say how old he is, so don't expect that information coming out. But um, one of the reasons why I, I got into Borderlands was because of him. He wanted to play a new game last year, and... We started playing the first Borderlands while we were waiting for Call of Duty to come out. We were like, yeah, whatever, you know. Oh, if this lets him spawn, that'd be awesome. No? Fuck. It'd have been badass if it worked. I did it the other day. Nope. 
Fuck. Oh, shit. Hang on, let me deal with this. That's not working out the way I wanted to. Hang on. Because I'm about to get my ass handed to me by the little bitches behind me as well. You know what? You can die, and so can your little buddy. And then your little friend over here can die too. And then everybody can join each other in the party role. I have no idea what I just said. So, I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to change subjects just because he does watch my videos from time to time and I don't want to piss the kid off. There's, there's reasons for that. But uh, <laughs> I do love my brother, you guys. Don't don't assume that I'm, I'm at all embarrassed by my brother because I'm not. I, I'm going to tell you guys something right now, all right? And this is just how bad I am. All right, in the world, if you will. I don't have a high school diploma. All right. My other brother, I have two brothers, by the way. My other brother, the one with the kids and all that, he's got his GED. I make this comment because, to me, it's hilarious. But of the three of us, the youngest and the one with the disability is the only one with his high school diploma. Yeah, the kid is extremely smart, so I have no reason to be embarrassed by my little brother. I love my baby brother. Elliot, if you see this, you know I love you, dude. And I can't wait for Ghost to come out for you and I to play and fucking own Extinction. I will definitely be putting Extinction up on my channel. I wish there was some, some footage of it. I, I don't know why I just tried to be Phil Infinity. But um, I'm looking forward to that. And... That's something, you know, I mean, you guys know, for those who've been on my channel and didn't subscribe to my channel for a while now, you guys know that I am big into zombies. Oh, what the fuck? Where'd you come from, bitch? But, um, I kind of stopped posting it, not because the views were bad on it, because they were, but uh, the truth is, I just, I got kind of burned out on it, as it was a friend of mine who I haven't really had a chance to play with in a really long time. He was online last night, and he was playing Call of Duty. He was playing Black Ops 2, and I had zero desire to play that game. Like, I'll play Zombies on Black Ops 2. I like the objective-based version of Zombies. That's kind of cool. I've, I've kind of always wanted objective-based, but the objectives are really hard to do if you have anything less than one person. Like, if you have two people, you know, some of them you can do. Like, I think you can do the... Uh, objective for Mob of the Dead. I'm not sure. I know you can do it on solo. Oh, fuck. You know what I just realized? There's a hell of a lot more enemies than there were last time. There are a hell of a lot more enemies. Seriously, there are a hell of a lot more enemies. Holy fuck. Where are you going, dude? Alright. Where is this bitch? Hello, how are you? It's time for you to die. I mean, oh man, I was trying to hope I was going to show you guys the fucking... Alright. Oh shit. Fuck, come on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I'm going to kill you before you summon your little bitches. Fuck, I didn't do anything. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, I know I'm being goofy, but that's kind of who I am, you guys. If you didn't know it, I can be a goofball. I try not to be a goofball because some, sometimes my humor can be um, lost on some people. I do really stupid shit, and part of it comes from my little brother, which is where I was going with this now. He's one of the reasons why I started doing YouTube, because he's always joked that, you know... It'd be funny if I said the things I normally do when I play video games. I.e., you know, the... What are you saying, you crazy bitch? But, uh, I'll just throw out random crap. You know, like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! And I'll do it at the, the stupidest of times. Like, it's not that serious. But, um, or it really is that serious and I'm just like, oh crap, I'm dead. 
and he thought it was funny and he said you know you should do that because he saw he, you know he was watching YouTube and he's like you could do it you probably do it just as good as some of these other guys and I was against doing it initially that was a couple years ago so for the record I've actually been holding off on doing YouTube for a while mostly due to one very uncontrollable factor and that is money um, as you guys know I've been unemployed since 2008, literally just before my mom passed, like oh, two weeks before my mom passed, I lost my job, and I have, did I just get a, another corrosive submachine gun? Mm, I'll grab it, but um, I have not been able to find a job, I have applied doing everything from the guy at the porn shop that cleans up the, you know, the video booths. If you've never, if you're too young to go to a porn shop, then you won't understand that. But basically, let me put it to you this way: it's like cleaning the toilet, except really, really bad. Yeah, there you go. And I, I, I applied to do that. I thought, you know, fuck it, I, I need the money. I need to help out my family. I applied to do that. I was offered a job, but what they offered me was not worth it. No way to hell. I would rather legitimately pick up, like, dog shit on the road for more money than what they offered me. It's actually a really good version. Um, see, I hate this guy because... the bitch? Fuck you. Alright, so... That's one of the other reasons why I decided to do YouTube. It could potentially be a job. I want it to be a job, but at the same time... I actually have fun doing this. Like, when I first, first, first started doing it, I wasn't having fun doing it, you guys. I, it was, I treated it too much like a job. And then I said, you know what, I'm going to stop. I actually took all the videos I posted during that time down. Because, one, they were really bad. And two, they were really, really bad. <laughs> okay, no, they weren't that bad. Oh, hey, look. A fire one. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, fuck. I'm going to go down. I'm going down. I can see it now. I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going down. Uh, yeah, I'm going down. Oh, no, I'm not. What's up, bitch? Yeah. I got a bunch of these just now. Holy crap. All right, what's this one? Duh. How? Okay. Hold up. Let's look. Let's see how many I just got. Let's investigate this by name. Okay, I got three of them. I have two corrosive versions. Oh, wow. Um, no. <sighs> What's sad is this is actually better. <laughs> anyway, so I've got a couple of these. Uh, I don't want that one because it's only a level whatever. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to bother with it. Fuck it. Wait, what level is this? Six? I'll grab it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. What the fuck? But, um, what was I talking about? So, like I said, I started YouTube initially because I wanted a job. And I thought, hey, you know, I know it's not going to happen overnight. I know it's going to take a lot of work. I know it's going to take a lot of patience. And it's going to take a lot of time. Well, I got no job. I got no kids. I got no girl. I got no responsibilities. Well, except Elliot, my little brother. And he's mildly self-sufficient. Actually, he, he's actually pretty well self-sufficient, but there's some things, yeah. No. <laughs> um, I love my brother. He, he's good at boiling water. He can, he can cook, okay? He, he can cook, but very little. Oh, fuck. You know, I start talking shit, and that happens. So, um, I'm gonna stop talking shit for just a moment, and I'm gonna focus on killing Doc Mercy and hopefully get an infinity. Come on, bitch, give me an infinity. A corrosive, too. Ooh, give me a corrosive. Yeah, bitch, give me a corrosive. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought he dropped it. I was like, yes! No. Um, but no, I'm... What the fuck is shooting me? Oh, it's you. Okay, where are you? 
Oh! Oh! That's what it is! It's one of you bitches! A few bitches! Doc Mercy! See you later! Drop it! Drop it! Fuck this bitch! Where are you, puta? Where are you? Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, shit! Run, 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 run! Haha! -ha! Fuck you! Fuck it, where is this? Wishful thinking. Sorry, I got real quiet, guys, because I was focusing, because I was like, is he going to do it? Is he going to drop it? Is he going to drop it? No? Fuck you. Anyways, that and um, I was trying to focus on what I was going to talk about, and I lost my train of thought again. So, <laughs> as you guys probably know, that happens to me a lot, especially when I'm playing this and doing a live commentary. Anyways, as I was saying, um, so YouTube was, you know, it, it kind of became more of a necessity to, oh fuck, oh, I just about had a heart attack just now, wow, I can't believe I did that, I, I need to stay away from the fucking edge, where is this bitch, come on dude, die, thank you, fuck, God damn it, wrong gun. Come on, bitch. You're dead, where's your buddy? Hey, puto, I have something for you. Enjoy it. Alright. So, like I was saying, though, it became a necessity thing. Like, it, this has to succeed, you know? Like, I need it to succeed, because if it doesn't succeed... I'm pretty much boned, and it is what it is, it sucks because it's way more pressure necessary, and that's one of the reasons why I'm trying much harder to do better commentaries, provide way more content for you guys. I have every intention of putting up as many videos as possible, and that's one of the reasons why I started uploading them, uh, you know, more or less way in advance, because it's just easier. It, it allows me to, to deal with the shit that I have to deal with, i.e., you know, my little brother, and of course, as you guys... Oh, fuck me. Hang on. I'm about to die. Yep, saw that coming. And I'm about to die. Yes, I am most definitely about to die. You fucking asshole! Um... Whoops. <laughs> oh, it sucked! Alright guys, well, there you go. Uh, I got beasted. Big time. I think I'm going to stick with these from now on, which sucks because I really don't want to run out of pistol ammo. But, yeah, I have the relic, so I might as well use it, right? <sighs> I guess, um, I guess that you guys are going to get a bunch of videos. I, <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> that was totally my fault. I was fucking around. Anyways, well, I got a little bit of time. Not really. But, um,. Yeah, thank you guys for joining me. That sucked. But I'm going to continue this commentary in the next video. And I will get in more into detail about, you know, the whole YouTube thing and why I'm doing it, you guys. Um, I'll give you guys a better, like I said, if, I want you guys to understand why I'm here, what I'm about. You know, am I doing this because I want a job? Yeah. <clears throat> am I doing this because I need a job? Yeah. Do I actually enjoy what I'm doing? Oh, yeah. So, thank you guys for joining me. I will continue giving you guys more of an insight into who I am in the next video. 
what I'm all about and why I'm here. And hopefully, and yeah, you know, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And maybe you guys will hear some funny stuff. I'll make some jokes. I don't know. But thank you guys for joining me. And I will see you guys again very soon. Peace.